everyone has these beliefs and ideas about what running a coaching or consulting firm is like that they heard somewhere, right? Maybe from their parents, friends, a former boss, or even a college professor. And some of them can be pretty harmless, but there are some that may actually be affecting the way you're making decisions about your business and your readiness to take risks. And it's, it's actively keeping you from pursuing opportunities for growth. It's time to bust some coaching and consulting myths that are keeping you from growing. Hey, this is Lori Gachega, founder and CEO of Viral Growth Media, and we partner and collaborate with coaches and consultants that are usually small businesses and solopreneurs to help them build a solid business foundation and help them get ready to scale and grow their businesses. We come out with videos with tips and advice on digital marketing, business growth, and scaling, and just really efficiently running your business. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you're always up to date. And if you can, like and comment on this video too so you can help us reach more people. There are so many limiting coaches and consulting myths out there that the hardest part of this video is actually narrowing them down to five but we tried so here are five coaching and consulting myths that are keeping you small one you need to spend money to make money. You know, there is a little truth to this. You do have to spend money when you start a business, but a lot of people have taken this to mean that it's normal or a standard for a business to be in the red for like the first couple of months, even years before they actually see a return on their investment. And this is just simply not true. Just ask any of our clients at BGM. And this belief is actually keeping you from exploring and pursuing opportunities that would increase your revenue because you believe those things are not possible too good to be true and simply not how businesses work you have to let go of this belief so you don't miss out on opportunities that could actually help increase your profit and grow your business two paying for ads is the only way to get noticed nope no nope, no nope, and absolutely not when we work with clients here at our growth media the first thing we tell them to do is stop paying for ads for the first six months we work with them we pay for zero in, in ad spend and we get them from zero to five figure months some even six figure months just by improving their services their business structure and using a variety of marketing channels you know we don't do this because we don't believe in the value of advertising we absolutely do and ads are an integral part of scaling your business but ads aren't supposed to be the end all and be all of your marketing strategies you know ads amplify your brand and message but if you don't have a strong brand and a message to start with you'll literally just be burning money on ads number three you need to have x amount of experience and skills before you can grow bigger you know this happens to a lot of coaches and consultants they think they need to be more experienced in this or have all these types of certifications before they can and pursue more opportunities for growth. You know, this kind of thinking is keeping your operations small. There will always be something out there that you'll feel is lacking. And if you let those thoughts affect the way you make decisions for your business, you'll miss out on a lot of opportunities. Number four, running a coaching or consulting business takes up all of your time. You know, if you're spending 12 to 16 hour days running your coaching or consulting business i'm telling you right now you're doing something wrong it means you're spending too much time in the operator role and not taking steps to build your team so that you can actually take on more business more about this in another video we're putting up soon so make sure to watch out for that number five you need to wait for the right timing to scale you know there is no right timing to scale we have to get out of this that scaling is always a huge shift in your business. Scaling simply means making changes big or small to grow or expand your business in a variety of ways. You know, there is no metric or timing that you have to wait for to scale your business. And if you're always waiting for the right timing to scale, you're going to end up stuck in the same spot doing 
business the same way day in and day out for who knows how long and never growing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and please leave a like and a comment if you learned something from today's video. We'd love to hear from you. I'll see you guys in the next one.